Hi everybody! So for my media project, I decided to make a children's book that outlines pro-social behaviors. Um, I intended for the book to be for children ages 4 to 8 years old, and um, I wanted the book to be read to the children from their parents. Um, so my book is called The Life of Ames House Mice, and it follows the lives of Oaks and Oliver Ames, who I made into mice. And they live in the Ames Mansion at Stonehill College. Oaks and Oliver follow the lives of the students. They anxiously anticipate for the students to arrive in August. And they follow them throughout the school year, through different holidays and different activities throughout the year, um, all while learning pro-social behaviors such as learning to share, showing comfort, encouraging each other, cheering on each other, um, so as I mentioned, the book basically goes month by month throughout the school year and talks about the different holidays um, and activities that all the students do at Stonehill and that the mice get to do along with them. And each page outlines a pro-social behavior that um, hopefully will be reiterated and learned while the children are listening to their parents read them the book. So I guess I'll start by reading you guys a few pages from the book, um, or I'll just read you guys November. So um, you can't really see it that well, but I didn't paint this. This is actually um, a picture that I found online, and then there's this online website where you can convert your photos into art by adding filters and stuff. So um, I, can, I can try to share the link, but I'll start by reading November. So this time of year, many students spend their time volunteering. When you volunteer, you spend your time helping others. Stonehill has a farm that is called The Farm. Oaks and Oliver's favorite place to volunteer is at the farm. Oaks likes to help the farm manager harvest fresh vegetables. He likes to separate onions, squash, and cucumbers into separate bins. While Oaks likes to separate vegetables, on the other side of the farm, Oliver enjoys volunteering in the greenhouse. The greenhouse is a building made from glass where plants are grown to protect them from the cold winter. Oliver pulls the weeds and prepares the soil for planting. And then I have a picture. It looks like that. <laughs> it is a big help when the farm gets volunteers, especially because there's always so much work to do. Oaks and Oliver also volunteer at the farm's mobile market. The mobile market takes vegetables from the farm to another location where people shop for food. The people are very happy to see students from the farm because that means they get fresh fruit and vegetables to feed their families. The farm donates food to people who are hungry. This is another way that the time Oaks and Oliver spend volunteering at the farm helps their community. And then a picture. And this is actually cool because it's like all the farm volunteers. And then it says volunteers are important. <laughs> as the month of November nears its end, Oaks and Oliver prepare for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a time when you gather with family and friends and think about everything you are grateful for. Oaks and Oliver have fun decorating their rooms with pumpkins and paper turkeys made from cutouts of their hands. They spend time cheering on the football team as the team plays their last game of the season. They watch the students pack their bags to go home to spend Thanksgiving with their families. Oaks and Oliver spend Thanksgiving with their family at the big house. And then this is them at the big house. <laughs> so basically the book goes on throughout the school year. They go through December. Um, they talk about the holidays, talk about sledding down the hill, um, playing together, working together, um, volunteering. So different pro-social behaviors throughout the book. And I just hope that these behaviors can be learned and taught and through parents co-viewing or actively interacting with their kids by reading, these behaviors will be further solidified.